To do one round of the SHA-256, we start with eight inputs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Um, for the first round, these are constants provided by the NSA, no joke. Um, so our first step is going to be convert these to binary, which is straightforward but a little tedious. So we'll start with A, B, C. Six is zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, E, one, 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 zero, six, zero, one, one, zero, six, zero, one. Now for the first operation, we're going to compute the majority function on A, B, and C. What that means is simply we look at each of the three bits and see are there more zeros or ones. Zero, one, zero, there's more zeros. One, zero, zero, more zeros. One, 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 ones win. Zero, one, one, ones win. One, one, oh, zero, one. Now what this does is it mixes up A, B, and C in a nonlinear way, which makes it harder to break the hash function. Now we'll convert this back to decimal. Zero, zero, one, one is three, seven, eight. Okay. Now our next step is we're going to take A and we're going to shift all the bits two positions to the right. So we're going to start here, 0110, 1010, 0000, 0000. We shift A right 13 bits. We shift the whole thing 22 positions to the right. Now our next step is to sum these three shifted values. Um, we're doing it modulo 2, or we're XORing the three bits together, or as it's easiest to think of, we are simply looking to see if it's odd or even. If there's an odd number of ones, we put a one. If there's an even number of ones, we put a zero. If there's a one that's odd, odd, even, even. So CE20B47E is the result of our, our summation here. Now we're going to move down and look at EFG. We're going to convert these to binary, 5, 0, 0. Now we're going to combine E, F, and G in an interesting nonlinear way, which is called the, the choosing. So what we do is, if for each bit of E, if it's 0, we circle the bit of G. If it's 1, we circle the bit of F. 0 we circle G, 1 we circle F. And now we write down the circled bits underneath here for our choice. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Next we're going to shift E by 6, similar to how we did with A. So we're going to start. Four, five, six, right here. Five, one, zero. And then our final shift is by 25 bits. We're going to sum the three bits together, modulo two, odd or even. So check this, three, five, eight, seven, two, seven, two, B. So that's our summation. Now, the next step is to combine all this data to, to make our first sum. So we go over here, we're going to start with W, which is our input. So this is actually the first place that our input data is actually going into the hash. 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This actually indicates our data block is version 2. Now we take another constant provided by the NSA for Two eight a two f nine eight, and we take our value h, which, which is just the same value we started with unchanged, five b e zero c d one nine. We take our choice value we computed earlier up here, which was one f eight five c. 9, 8, C. And we take our summation uh, of E, which was 3, 5, 8, 7, 2, 7, 2, B. And now we add these 
these values up in hexadecimal. It's just plain arithmetic except base 16, which makes it a little tricky. 8, 9 is 17, and 12 is 29, and 11 is 40. So that's 32 plus 8, so 16 plus, <coughs> carry the 2, 16 plus 16, and 8. 2, 9 is 11, 12, and 8 is 20, 22. That's 16 plus 6, so we carry the 16. 1, 15 is 16. Plus 5 is 11, 12, and 3 is 15. So our result is F577ED68 is our first sum. Next, we go up to our compute our new A value. We add three things here. We start with the sum we computed earlier, which was C E two zero B four seven E and we take the majority value we calculated from A, B, and C. That's 3, A, 6, F, E, 6, 6, 7. And finally we take our previous sum, which is F, 5, 7, 7, E, D, 6, 8. And we just add these up in hexadecimal. So now this is our new A value. So after all this work, we've calculated one of our new values for the output. Now the new B is simply the old A value. Easy. New C is simply the B value. New D is our old C value. And now to compute our new E value, we're going to take D, which is A, 5, 4, F, F, 5, 3, A, and we're going to add our previous sum, which was F, 5, 7, that's our new E value, and our new F value is our old E, our new G comes from here, and new our old G becomes our new H. So we have now completed one round of the SHA-256 hashing.